Live from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. Right now at 10, a neighborhood on edge after burglars smashed their way into a family's home and killed their beloved pet. Cowler, the Chihuahua, was 15 years old. His family says the dog was inside when burglars broke in and stole electronics and jewelry. Yeah, the family lives in the Chimney Lake subdivision off Argyle Forest Boulevard. And that family and their neighbors are hoping for an arrest soon. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier in the neighborhood. And Eric, how is that family doing tonight? Kent, I have to tell you that right now, this family is outraged and heartbroken over this, and so are many of the neighbors that we've spoken with. They all ask that we not uh, use their last name for safety precautions, but they're hoping someone out there has information to give to police to help officers put the person responsible behind bars. Cowler, a 15-year-old partially blind Chihuahua, was in this home by himself when burglars broke in through the window and front door. Cowler's family says he likely barked at them, but it wasn't enough to scare them off. You see a big urine spot here from where your dog used to have his bed right here. And then you come in and you find him deceased on the floor, right 10 feet away. Table. Yes, sir. Blood on the ground, bleeding from the nose. Horrible, horrible. I mean, he was born in the house, so he's been here you know, his whole life. That was over here. The thieves stole a 61-inch TV, a computer, and some jewelry. But those thefts pale in comparison to losing the family pet, which is why both the family and neighbors are outraged. Taking your, you know, property is enough, but to kill a, you know, poor little animal that couldn't even hurt you is pretty sad. We have tragedy here. They didn't just lose property, they lost a, a pet, you know. A, we're just angry. Neighbors say around the time of the break-in, there were two vehicles in the driveway, an orange truck and a dark blue SUV. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. Now, neighbors say the way this home was broken into is identical to the way another home just up the street was also broken into a year ago. Coming up at 11, more safety concerns by many of the neighbors who are, again, completely outraged. Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.